Hello beautiful being, I'm Trini and welcome to your reading. Welcome to In Her Dreams. I'm so grateful that you're here and that you have tuned in to the messages that are flowing in for you from spirit. I'm going to take a moment to spray some Florida water and I'm going to move my, uh, I always connect with the crow spirit before I start my readings. But I don't want to start a fire up in here, so I'm going to move that. <laughs> and then I'm going to spray this just to make sure that you are light, that you are feeling light, that you're feeling protected, and that you're feeling grounded. Okay, so we're going to get rid of any low vibrations that have been standing in your way or putting pressure on you that you really don't need to feel. Okay. As I was setting up, Spirit was bringing messages through for you. And they're so beautiful because it's all about a prize that you have won. It's about something that you have earned. The recent solar eclipse, and this came through for my Taurus reading. So if you watch that Taurus reading, you're like, oh, she already said this. I know, but it's so powerful. It's for everybody. It really is. <laughs> it's for the whole Zodiac. It's for everybody. But that is that <clears throat> the past solar eclipse that we experienced, it brought that we experienced, it brought in so much freedom for you. Um, you're gonna have so many opportunities to overcome your fears. And this is something that has been going on for a while where you've been confronted with the emotion of fear. Where you felt afraid to go to that next stage. You felt afraid to confront a person. You've felt afraid of what the consequences will be if I do this. But you know that this is for you. And so there's been this hesitation. There's been this separation between what you have done. Or what you felt and what you know is right for you. No more. No more. That era of your life is over. Mother Moon came through with her cleansing energy to clear out negative connections. And I say connections because that's interesting. Because usually I say negative attachments. But there have been some connections in your life that you've made. That that relationship or that action, that thing that you were doing was meant for you, but not for the long haul. And so it has served its purpose. That connection with that person has served its purpose. And now you are ready to move on to the next thing that's right for you. Hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking about Star Wars, Anakin and Padme. And, you know, it's like <laughs> I'm a Star Wars fan. But it's a good analogy. You know, Anakin was so afraid of losing Padme. And Yoda told him, look, get rid of your attachments. Because you have to be willing to give up what it is that you don't want to give up. Because that might be what's holding you back. It might be. And so there are some things that have felt really, really natural to you at one time because it was right for you then. But you're moving into a phase now where you're completely able to let go of anything that doesn't serve you. Anything and everything is gone. And you're good with it. That's your strength coming through. You're good with it. You're releasing the toxins. Okay? And it's not to say that this thing, this person, this activity that you used to get involved with it's not to say that it was always inherently bad it wasn't it was meant for you at a at a time in your life but now it's time to grow and change is what leads to growth so there is a change that has happened and you're going to be good and the reason why i know this is because i pulled a couple cards while i was setting up and you have balance that came out for the Taurus reading too that I just did. I'm like, okay, okay, spirit, you speaking loud. <laughs> You've also got the birch card. And this is about the wounds that you have 
carried with you that have become heavy. You're ready to let go. You're ready to move forward. You have been doing so much healing work. And Divine says, I see you. Your ancestors say, we see you. Your spirit allies say, we see you. You are beautiful. And you are ready to move forward. Now it's time to have trust in yourself. Have trust in us. That's what your spirit allies are saying. To have trust in them. To have trust in your power. And to have trust in your connection with the divine. Because it is very strong. And it's something that you have nurtured for so long. And I just want to say personally, I'm proud of you. Because I feel like um, you've been so active on your path. So ambitious on your path. And this is something that's really paying off now. This eclipse has ushered in an energy, a frequency that is in perfect alignment with who you are. The essence of you at your core, who you are. That's who you're meant to be. You also had sacrifice. So there's something that you're giving up. I feel like this is that connection that served you for a time, for a certain amount of time, for a certain phase in your life, a certain period. There's something that this person helped you to learn. It's a lesson that they helped you to be able to grasp. Um, but now you're in a place of gratitude where it's like, I'm, I'm glad you showed me that. Thank you. And now I'm ready to move forward. There's no hatred there. There's no, there's no more getting stuck. I feel like this is something that you've contemplated for a long time. Like, should I remain attached to this person or should I just let it go? And there's no need for like, I feel like some of you are saying I have to have closure, but divine is saying that your experience has been all about the whole cycle. You've already had your closure. Now it's time to move forward. You're ready. You don't have to feel afraid. This is a time of fearlessness for you, for you to conquer your fears, your self doubt, your worry, your panic, your anxiety, your PTSD. It's time for you to surrender that and say, I know who I am. And I'm grateful for the experiences that I've had. And now I'm ready to move forward. Okay. You've also got the seer. You're seeing things clearly around you. You like your intuition is so impeccable. And this is something that you've doubted. Like spirit is bringing this through for a reason because you have doubted your connection to spirit. No more. No more of that. <laughs> don't doubt yourself don't doubt your abilities don't doubt your gifts believe in yourself believe in you believe in who you are believe in the pain that you've suffered through because that was your teacher your pain has been your greatest teacher and even though it's what you wanted to avoid for so long now you're like I see that my pain is my ally because your pain shows you where there's um, an opportunity to heal. Your pain is what leads you to your healing path every time. Because when life is, you know, when you're shining, when you feel bright, when you feel on top of the world, there's really no motivation to grow. But that pain, oh, it will inspire you to evolve because you don't want to feel it anymore. And that's the time that you're in now where you're like, okay, you're realizing that you have all the lessons that you've needed to acquire, that you've needed to grasp. You got it. And the only thing that was missing at one time was the fearlessness in you. It's awakened. It's awakened. 
The solar eclipse has brought a fearlessness in you that is astonishing. And it's time for you to tap into all of your power. Don't hold back. Now is not the time to hold back. Now is the time to move forward. Um, so that's what came through as I was setting up. <laughs> now you've also got the numbers 25. I am intelligent. Divine is reminding you that you are intelligent. You are able to do everything that's needed for you to experience peace on your path. You got it. You really, you've got it. You've got what's needed to move forward. You're special. You are so special to spirit. Because you embody, there go my chimes. Ashe, thank you spirit. Confirmation. <laughs> you embody this spirit that's always ready. Even when you feel down, you're still ready. Because you always want to learn. You have this innate desire. It's something you were born with. It's something that you will reincarnate with. This desire in your soul to learn. And you will never stop learning. You will never stop growing. And this phase in your life is about unity. There's a union that's happening between you and your ancestors, your spirit allies, and pure divine energy that is breathtaking is like the feeling that you get when you see a beautiful sunset or a beautiful sunrise or when you look up and you're like oh my god the sky looks so beautiful <laughs> thank you spirit <laughs> for bringing me this beautiful art this magic that's your life now that feeling that you get when you see that or when you see the night sky lit up with stars so beautifully and, and, and brightly. That's your life. You have access to that. Just don't forget it. Because sometimes there's a little, um, a little demon that comes along. A little straggly ass demon that comes along and says, I think I'm going to interrupt their progress. Oh, no, you won't. <laughs> you going to keep it moving. Okay, you're going to keep it moving. All right. Um, also, the number 24 is coming through. You have a heart of gold and are very skilled at maintaining balanced, stable relationships. You have that ability. You know why? Because you're real. There's a whole lot of fakers out here, but you, my love, are real. You are the real deal. You are loyal to your loved ones and are able to be the nurturer. You might be a Cancerian or you might just have, you know, it might be the placement of cancer energy in your chart, in your natal chart. But you have the ability to nurture, to be loyal and to be a protector and provider all at once. You're gifted. You're gifted. Okay, I'm going to read 25 too, and then we're going to move on to your um, Celtic cross spread. Mm -hmm, I say I'm excited about that. All right, so 25, you might be seeing the number 2, the number 5, 25, or 7. Um, you have a great ability to take in and process information on both conscious and subconscious levels. Lore. Oh, that's supposed to be your. That's a typo. That's okay. Oh, and Divine is saying that perfection is not the goal. Okay, it's about progress, not perfection. Because this deck isn't, per isn't perfect, but it's bringing through some, some consciousness, right? Okay. <laughs> your curiosity is endless and your desire to dive deep into a variety of subjects will bring you an immense awareness of the world. The things that interest you, the things that you're curious about. Yeah, go there. Go there because there's something, there's a reward there for you and the things that you're drawn to. Okay. All right. Um, all right. So Celtic crossbred. Let's see. Celtic crossbred. Ashe. Thank you, Divine. What messages do you have for this beautiful being? Okay. 
Uh-huh. And past. Present. Future. <laughs> I love how Spirit gives me the cards. It's like different every time. I love it. <laughs> Two more, Spirit. Okay. All right. So this is why Spirit is so beautiful in bringing this message through. Because... They're letting you know everything you need to know in order to in order to stay on your path. Okay? On your true path. Alright. For your situation, you have recognition and reward. There's a de desire inside of you to receive recognition. But Divine is saying that you already have the qualities that you're looking for other people to tell you that you have. You already are that person that you're waiting for other people to tell you and reassure you that you are. So Divine is asking you to believe in yourself and to trust that you have it all. You are the magician. You have earth, air, fire, water, and spirit right there at at the palm of your hand, it's within your power, it's within your reach to manifest whatever it is that you are desiring to manifest. And that you are already beautiful, you are already worthy, and you are already connected to the divine. Um, so this was crossed with, it's like Ace of Cups energy, love begins. Divine is saying that there's a flow of intuition that you may be blocked from right now. For some of you, this is in your dreams. For some of you, this is in your feelings with another person. It's like your, your emotion that you experience when you connect with another person. But that is what's serving as a block or I say serving as a block because everything teaches us, right? So even the things that present themselves as a block to you in your life are leading you to your freedom. Overcoming them is what strengthens you. And that's the whole purpose for the blockage in the first place. So there may be a blockage right now between you and another that you love, someone that you love, someone that you have connected with. And divine is saying to just let go. You're trying to figure it out. There's something that you've been like, I see you putting your head. I don't want to say beating your head, but you know, that's what I'm seeing um, against a brick wall. And you're like, what is wrong? What is wrong? What is wrong? Divine is saying, let go of that. You got this. Like you are the answer. You're trying to find an answer to a problem something that you see as a problem but divine is saying we got this you got this you don't even have to do this you don't have to waste your energy on asking yourself these questions what's wrong what's going left uh, there's like panic and divine is reminding you right now that there is a light within you that shines brighter than every single thing that you see right now is a problem You are blessed and everything that you do is blessed. Even the things that you've done that you characterize as a mistake, they've taught you. They've taught you lessons that a book never could. So, you're good. <laughs> I shame. Okay, at the basis here is death. Um, this is the, the transformation. This is about letting go of what no longer serves you. And this is at the heart of everything that you're going through right now. It's about being comfortable. Like you see how it looks. You can tell she's like moving because she's like traveling through a dimension, but she's also resting. Look, she looks like she's in bed. She like, like that's her cover. You know, that's her blanket. She's chilling as she goes through this transformation. That's how you can be. You have that power too. To just let go 
through your transformation because ultimately that's what transformation is all about is letting go. Trusting yourself enough to say, I have the answers within me because you do. You have every single answer inside you that you need right now. Every single answer that you're looking for is inside you. So all you have to do is trust that. Trust yourself, trust your abilities, trust your connection to the universe, to spirit. For your past, you've got light. There was some information that came to you that was like mind boggling. For a while, you were like, oh my God, what am I supposed to do with this? But this information that may have initially brought you some pain or some self-doubt it is what will lead you to your ultimate truth. Divine is saying that in the past, there was a time that you thought was so dark, but it actually is what is leading you to your light. This was something that felt heavy. This is something that felt painful and it awakened or stirred up. I'm seeing that like stirring up traumas from the past. You may have experienced PTSD. And that is something that can be very, very painful and very, very annoying because it comes at you when you're just doing, you're going about your normal life, you know, you're just doing life. And then all of a sudden, all this anxiety, all this fear sets in and you're like, oh my God. Yeah. But the vine is saying that that moment that felt like so much chaos is actually what's leading you to your brightest moment. It was all for a purpose. It was all for a purpose. I don't even know what that Tupac song is, but it was just a dream or it was all a dream. Something like that, he says. It's like all of this was destined. I hope that's Tupac. <laughs> I hope I'm right about that. I don't know. I want to Google that one. <laughs> um, yeah, but it was all destined. Everything that has happened to you, especially within this past year. From one to five years, it's a time frame of about one to, to five years, it has been for you to absolutely love who you are by letting go of what no longer serves you. And that's where that transformation card comes in, okay? All right, this transformation is truly the key to your light, your uh, ultimate joy, um, wait a minute now. Let me see how these came out. One, two, three, four. Okay. So we've got two cards for the present. That's how it came out. You've got two cards for the present. And Divine is saying that you have the world at the palm of your hands, but choose wisely. Do not let delusion or illusions get in the way of your manifesting power. There are people around you that are putting up complete facades. Their life is scripted. And here's the crazy thing, or not so crazy because here, here's the reason why it makes sense because you're amazing. But for some of you, this person that is presenting facades, they're doing this completely because of their obsession about who you are. There are people around you who are envious of what you are, of who you are, of the gifts that you have. And so they're sort of building their life, their little facade, their fake world based on what it is that you have that they want so badly. Do not let anybody around you distract you from your purpose and your truth. Because a lot of the things that you're being shown to your, your physical eye is fake. There's somebody who's trying to impress you. They're putting on airs, you know? They're trying to be somebody that they're not because they really want to be you. Oh my God. Oh my God. What is that? 
I want to pull an archetype card to get a little more information about that. Who is this person that is putting on facades? Oh, wow. Child nature. This person has a lot of um, childhood wounds. Okay. Got child nature. Um, their shadow attribute, tendency to abuse animals, people, and the environment. This person that I'm talking about is not in their light self because if they were, they would foster friendships with animals, communication with nature spirits. That's what they're supposed to be. That's what they were meant to be is a healer, a person who is connected to spirit, to mother earth, to the animal kingdom, to animal totems, receiving those messages from our beautiful beloved animals. But they're abusive. And so Divine is saying to not be distracted by their facade that they're putting up. This is a whole fake world. And it's really sick. Like what I'm seeing is that in their home, it's just like it's it's emotional illness running rampant this person is at the will of demons they just fling them around their energy is being used by very low vibrating spirits and so that's why they have seen your light and they're they're such in their darkness you know because i'm all about the light and the darkness but you gotta have a balance this person is completely in their dark self and they don't know how to get out. And even furthermore, they're not willing to because they have been they've been seeing signs that would help them to grow and to get on the right path. But they refuse to take truth. They've refused the truth of what they must do to pull themselves out of this rut. And so they are stuck in a rut and they're being used by very low vibrating spirits and they have tried to use you this person has come at you with some bull i'm trying not to cuss in this one <laughs> i can have a little potty mouth but that's okay because my my spirit is aligned i say <laughs> i got a tough spirit so you know i have a potty mouth sometimes <laughs> but yeah this this person has come at you with some bull some real some really hard stuff to to digest. You've looked at this person and said, oh my God. Like you've doubted human nature. You've doubted humankind and your faith in, the, in your own ability to build healthy connections because of this person. They've made you wonder and self-doubt. Just the whole process of getting to know a person and trusting them and building a relationship with them because you've been so... It's such a bad taste has been put in your mouth because of this person's actions. Don't let them get you off track. Your life is beautiful. Despite their bullshit. Okay. Despite what they have brought you. Your life is beautiful. And all that you've been doing this whole time is looking for ways to shine in spite of their darkness. And that's exactly what you're doing. Okay, so choose wisely. See beyond the delusion and the illusion of this person. Because they are seriously, like, they need, they need help. They need healing. They need help. And they need somebody to tell them what they're really doing with their life. Because it's not good. They need to redirect. And they need to choose wisely. Look at that. They're headed in the wrong direction. They are all the way to the left. But kudos to you for maintaining to the best of your ability, your peace of mind. And with this new energy, this new era that you're entering into with your life, you have the power now to move beyond the fearless, the fearful state. That you've been in you're moving into a state of fearlessness you're going from being fearful to fearless there is no fear that can keep you back that can hold you back 
you've moved beyond that. So kudos to you. Okay. Um, all right. For your future, you have patience and planning. So there is dedication that's needed for your path. You're moving into a much more beautiful and aligned era of your life, but that doesn't mean that it comes without challenges or lessons in how to stay dedicated to who you are and to your path and purpose, okay? But the portal is open for your success. Look at that. This is your success right here, and the, the portals are open. You're standing back. You're assessing you're assessing the past, you're assessing who you are and what it is that you really want so that when you're ready to go to that three of wands where you're moving beyond there and you're moving to that eight of pentacles where you're dedicated to your path, you've planned, now you're dedicated and then you get your 10, you know? You get your nine, you get your wishes fulfilled, and then you get your 10. That's your completion, right? So right now you're standing back and you're assessing. And so quiet time and solitude are really important right now. Please don't put any pressure on yourself to be around people and to be the life of the party. Because this is about you. This is all about you. You're the star of the show. Without you, there is no show. You are the main production. Okay. I don't know. That maybe maybe there's an interest that you have in acting or um, something involved with Leo energy, like putting yourself out there, being on stage. But I feel like you have because the show keeps coming to me, and that's something that never I, I I never get an image of, unless it's about that Leo energy of presenting yourself to the public. There's something that you're supposed to share, okay? Because spirit doesn't talk to me like that <laughs> about spiritual growth. A show, it's because it's never a show. It's real. But this is about you sharing something. This is about you being under the spotlight. It's about light. Lights, camera, action. You're supposed to be under the spotlight sharing something with the world. So please do that. Be fearless. Let that fearless energy just fill you and surround you. Okay, your power now is truth. This is justice. Mm -hmm. You have access to things that you didn't before and that's in part thanks to the recent eclipse the eclipse season that we've experienced you have access to balance that you didn't have before but divine is saying to also be intentional about your balance like when you wake up in the morning ask yourself if you plan whenever you plan your day if you plan your day the night before or that morning ask yourself what is it that i want to do right now and you'll have some days where you've got an agenda, you've got, you know, your whole thing planned out and it might go differently. Divine says that's OK. You might have days where you get up and you don't make a plan because there's nothing that urgent requiring your attention. So you're like, what do I want to do today? Let me decide. Hmm. Let me just go through my day and see what calls me. That's a beautiful thing too. balance. Be intentional about the balance that you experience now for the people around you and that you build into your life, that balance that you build into your life. Be intentional about it. The people around you have got um, sort of like an eight of wands energy, accelerated motion, but it was uh, reversed. So there's somebody around you that feels like they can't say to you what they really want to say. They feel stuck. It's like, look at that. They're looking at their their North Star. Is that the North Star? I see it. Is that? <laughs> I say. And see, when I think of the North Star, I always think of Harriet Tubman. That's that badass energy. That's that you can't hold me down energy. Mm -hmm. I say that's what you got. But there's somebody around you that's looking at this like, I want to say this. But I can't. 
It's not your job to pull out of them this communication. They need to rise to the occasion. It's time for them to step up. It's time for them, this person, to gather the will inside them and the motivation and the know-how somehow to open up their mouth and say what they need to say to you. Speak on it, you know? This is a lesson for them. So the only thing that spirit is saying here that you need to do is just be present. You know, if they ask for your attention and it vibes with what you're doing at the moment, you know, then go ahead and open up. Go ahead and just be present and let them, you know, when I say open up, I mean hear, hear them. Listen to what they say. But I feel like there's someone around you that you know the communication is lacking right now. But it's not up to you to comfort them. And What's wrong? And it's okay. You can talk to me. They already know that. This is about them needing to step up to the plate. And this is about them learning how to step up to the plate to communicate with you. Because you've done the work of making them feel comfortable. Letting them know that they're going to be heard. They're in a safe space. You've done all that. Now it's time for them to get it going. Okay, for your hopes and fears. Oh, Spirit had not um, shown me this. This was face down. So I hadn't seen what it was, but it's throat chakra. So there's something that you may be um, afraid of hearing this person say. You might not want to really communicate right now. Or you may feel like, well, if they tell me something, I don't know if I'm going to know what to say. You know, you're like, um, there's something in your speech or your communication that you're doubting. And divine is saying that your words are beautiful. You have the ability to quiet a whole crowd with your voice because you have power. There is power in your throat chakra. Well, there's power all throughout you. Okay. But spirit is really reassuring you right now of your throat chakra power. You have something really beautiful to say. And when you set the intention of being an active listener, you're an excellent listener. When you want to tune some, I say that because when you want to tune somebody out, you have the ability to do that too. You're able to do that. And that's a gift because some people can't tune people out. They're not, they haven't evolved to that level yet. So everything they hear, everything they see, it's like, oh, you know, but you're like, Psh, if I don't want to hear it. Bad, you know, because you know you have something better to do. <laughs> something more useful for you to do. But yeah, there's some community. You don't you don't have to fear communication right now. Either what you generate and it comes out of your mouth or that you write or send or whatever. And if there's someone around you who gathers the courage to come to you. It's okay for you to listen and hear them out. That's okay. And then you can decide for yourself what direction you want to go in. I feel like um, for some of you, there is... So this is the outcome. And I feel like this is an outcome. It's a possible outcome. The vine is very clear about that. They're like, let them know. This is a possible outcome. Divine is saying that you're in charge of your happiness. Your happiness at this point in your life is a choice. And they don't want you to choose discontent, boredom, sadness. That is only an option. Because at this point, you have access to joy. You have the ability... To determine what it is that you're going to experience. That's what I wanted. Ashe. Okay, yeah. See, this is someone coming in here trying to just yeah, trying to deceive you. With there's this deception and envy, and it's related. They're envious of you, and so they want to 
steal your happiness. They want to steal your joy. They want to steal your, your movement forward. And they want to give you this discontent feeling and boredom. But they, they can't. They can't do it. Why? Because it's up to you. Yeah, they want to have you trapped in fear. And they want to do this through a partnership and an alliance. So this is someone who sees your greatness. And they want to take it, put you here in this state of fear. So, so this is a person who wants to like connect with you, but for the wrong reasons. That might be why you're feeling some... Uh, some hesitation with this communication because for some of you the person who's trying to connect with you and communicate with you it's not that they want to harm you but they are so envious of you that the communication from them if you weren't aware could put you in a state of discontent boredom feeling trapped so here's here's the thing Okay, this is what we're going to do for the the um, sound bath. I'm going to bless your communication. We're going to tap into the energy of the throat chakra to bless the communication between you and your higher self so that you are always experiencing truth and clear, clear audience, okay? clear hearing of what's truly right for you and you're able to detect any bullshit that anybody's coming at you with because if they come at you with some communication that is not aligned with divine love you're going to spot it out right away and you're going to be like goodbye you're taking the time to listen and hear and assess and you will have the power to know if this is something that you should entertain or you should not. Because I do know that there is someone around you who is so very envious of your light. Um, that's why that light card came up because you have, sh you have shined, shown, shine. <laughs> why is English so hard? <laughs> you were shining your light, okay? And they saw it and they were like, They wanted it for themselves, but they were not willing to put forth the effort to get it the right way. And so they're trying to figure out what direction they are going in. Are they going to come at you trying to put you in a trap or are they going to come to you in truth? Let's see what guidance um, Divine is giving through this surrender deck. What needs to be surrendered or surrendered to? Surrender to your soul's true path. You're going to know. And Divine is saying that no matter what energy is surrounding you and going through its own thing, trying to determine how it's going to communicate to you and if it's going to bring some craziness or if it's going to come to you in truth and love, you have access to peace Anyway, it doesn't matter. They are on a very deep journey within themselves. So divine is saying not to take on the burden that they have on them to figure out what their right path is. But when they open up their mouth and they speak to you or they send you something, you're going to know. You're going to pick up instantly the vibe of that communication and you are going to know if it is aligned with your soul's path or not and if it's not you're going to be like go on now get okay i was picking up this deck but this one stayed yeah the stork there's change that's coming and i feel that there's also communication that's coming but it's all for your good 
with this mountain, don't be deterred by any um, anything that seems to be a challenge. Because everything is moving in the direction of your evolution and your need for truth. You are a soul that desires truth. You want truth so deeply and you are coming into your God state. I don't care if you identify as male, female or anything in between. Anyone, anything in between. You, oh look, I'm covering it up. You are God. This is about your active energy. This is about your masculine energy, your sun energy. And you can be just as feminine as you want to be and still be a God. Because even though you may radiate femininity, you have inside you this strength that will never give up. It will never give up. Okay. All right, beautiful being. I hope that this reading was helpful to you. Um, I am going to do a sound bath healing session for you for the throat chakra to ensure that whatever communication is coming into you, whatever anyone is telling you or sending you, writing to you, that you are able to detect what is true and what is not. You are able to detect what is legit and what is not. And you're able to detect what is right for you and what is not. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm excited. Okay. All right, beautiful being, I wish you peace, joy, and many blessings. Take care.